18 years after being convicted of killing a child, Rosa Jimenez is being released on bond. In 2005, a jury convicted her of killing a toddler by shoving paper towels down his throat. A judge overturned that conviction in 2019. But she's remained in prison as legal experts raise questions about her initial trial. Today, a Travis County judge heard from health experts who showed how the boy's death could have been an accident. And that judge ruled Jimenez should go free for now. I do not believe that Ms. Jimenez should spend another night in jail uh, if, um, if it can be prevented. Jimenez's attorneys also say she has a kidney disease and is at high risk of contracting COVID-19 in prison. Jimenez has been in prison at the Mountain View unit in Gatesville, just north of Colleen. She'll be allowed out on bond now. Let's take a look at the history of this case. In 2003, prosecutors accused Estela Rosa Jimenez of killing 21-month-old Brian Gutierrez. They said while she was babysitting the boy, Jimenez forced paper towels down his throat. During her trial in 2005, experts testified that there was no way the toddler could have swallowed the paper himself. He had paper towels forced on his airway. He didn't do it himself. A jury found Jimenez guilty and sentenced her to 99 years in prison. But since then, legal experts and judges have said she didn't get a fair trial because her defense attorney didn't hire pediatric experts to say that the toddler's death could have been an accident. The Innocence Project took him in his case for the appeal process in 2010 and 2011. There were two tragic accidents in this case. First was the choking death of this child and second was the miscarriage of justice of Ms. Jimenez's conviction. And a U.S. District Judge overturned her conviction in October of 2019. Now, Rosa Jimenez will be allowed to go free while the courts continue debating her innocence. She was 19 at the time of her arrest. Now, she's 38 years old. The judge that ordered Jimenez release will issue a formal ruling tomorrow, and that will go to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, which will decide if Jimenez should get a new trial.